Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to a new episode of the series, Oaniko Sobrevivienta Investigation, Part 6. After a survey in the YouTube community you asked me to come back to investigate Javier, and here we are. After discovering in the previous episode that Oaniko Sobrevivienta is a television project to kick off a new TV series about the last survivor on Earth, Javier has continued to publish new videos, and of course there are contradictions in the story he narrated. To start we are not haters, we love this TikTok channel, and we find its producers brilliant. This video, like the previous ones, is only a concrete analysis of what is real and what is pure entertainment. If you are new and like this content, subscribe to the channel and press the bell to stay updated. Let's start by analyzing Javier's latest video. animal bones? Wait a second, Javier began his story by telling that he found himself in a parallel reality without humans and animals on February 13th this year, with his very first video. Then there was the July 6th pigeon video where Javier announces that animals have appeared. And on September 10th, does he announce that he has found animal bones? How is it possible? According to Wikipedia, a dead animal exposed outdoors takes about one year to reach the skeletal stage. It has been two months since the first animal. There are two things, either there are the zombies of the videos of the user El Chico del Futuro, or Javier has forgotten to hide these bones from us. Fantastic, it would seem like a cinematic mistake. In this clip, Javier responds to a user who asks what is seen at the exit of these tunnels of the military bunkers of the old Spanish Civil War. Javier shows the view, with the sea, and a boat can be glimpsed. The followers in the comments immediately point out the presence of the boat but in some answers they describe it as immobile. In reality, if we try to zoom in on the video, we can see three boats, one of which on the right with the classic wake of a moving ship. In my opinion, this is yet another mistake made by the Oaniko Sobreviviente staff who did not edit this part of the sea, it is still summer and this area is clearly busy with tourists. Now I would like to show you a series of clips shot in various places, and all with one thing in common, look. I had long suspected that Javier edits the part of the sky, to eliminate birds in the past, and to remove airplanes, because in the video editing phase it is one of the easiest things to change. The official confirmation of my suspicion came with this video, take a look. In the video you can see Javier, or whoever for him, enter the Isla Magica Park and after the turnstiles at the top immediately after the shade tent, the trees hide what looks like a white cloud. Since there are trees in the middle, this part is difficult to edit and make believable to the human eye. For sure, too many cloudless videos make the landscape aseptic, unreal even for a supposed parallel world. As you can see, the next part of the video instead shows a totally cloudless sky. In this other clip, we see a lake submerged in a swimming pool. Among the comments, users ask, 
How is it possible that the pool is so clean? And Javier responds by sending the link to his story. However, its story does not explain anything. A swimming pool fills with insects, leaves, soil in a few hours. So if it were a swimming pool of an abandoned house in a parallel world, unlike the real world where man removes debris with the help of pool vacuum cleaners or nets. And the theory of the mirror world does not hold up, we will see insects fall into the pool and disappear because they are collected from the other universe, but in Javier's videos, objects never disappear. All that remains is the explanation that it is trivially a swimming pool in 2021. As we watch these videos, Javier posts another new video where he is seen dragging a cart into a supermarket full of 2021 merchandise, a very short video where nothing else is shown. Video that has nothing to do with its history and quite banal. We hope not to have to see him in the bathroom too, as happened to the user TikTok It's Simon, a very questionable video. Dear friends part 6 ends here, so far no concrete proof of being in 2027 and no live streaming, we hope to see material in the next parts before seeing the television series. If you like this content and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, press the button and the bell to stay updated. Next our appointment on Saturday with top 3 ghosts trapped on video and on Tuesday with new investigations. See you soon, have a nice day.